Hey everyone, welcome back to the Esports Report live from the MLG studios in New York City. My name is Jack Dunlop. I'm filling in for Chris Puckett this week as he is away spending some much needed time off. Now I've been seeing people in the chat asking where Chris is. I'm seeing people talk about season three. I'm seeing people talk about how Optic and EG are neck and neck. But on the show today, we're talking about Justice and Elevate. Now, we just went over game one of Justice vs. Excellence on their best of five series to see who gets the season three placement. Now, Doubt went huge in that first game, showing why he has the best overall KD of the entire squad in the last couple of events. Now, we have to move on to game two, where Excellence is now playing from behind to see if they can swing the momentum into their favor. Game two, obviously an s and and a crucial one because you never want to go down two to zero in a best, in fi best of five series, but let's see if Justice could take it. Let's get into the game. They'll get that away. So they will have the plan again, similar to round one, but they are down guys, similar to round one as well. Bielfire and Doubt are going to be up against all four members. Here we go, Bielfire spots a player on the flank. That's going to be accuracy. Manages to pick it up, but he is going to be one shot now in a 2v3. A little bit more manageable than that 2v4. And he does go down. Doubt now, last stop, picks up a good kill, goes for the two piece. Can he get it? Player down below, still bobbing and weaving, gets the headshot, but sniped down with a nice kill. 4 and 0, having a fantastic game, getting the bomb defusal. Doubt almost went hammer soft. Yeah, right there. Doubt got all three of those players just bobbing and weaving on the <laughs> stairs there. That would have been absolutely wow. insane, that but would. the snipe down stays composed, able to clean up that last kill. Frost Eyeball trying to be aggressive here, not going to win that gunfight. Doubt will take him out. Accuracy going to push out, but there's another player behind him. He's about to get shot in the back. He gets in the building in time, stays alive. And, uh, you know, I really like the push from Justice there on the defense. They were aggressive, and they took the momentum forward. And now they had control over Hotel before we even seen Excellence get over there, and that's making all the difference in the world. But a nice rotation coming through. If Accuracy pulls this off with Snipe Down over there, this could be a nice play. Snipe Down gets that snipe on the player watching the cross, so they're going to know this rotation's coming. You should see that player in Motel start to rotate over, or he's just going to put shots in Snipe Down. they got plenty of time to get this down. There's going to be a Pence coming here. It looks like from one's going to push bottom broken, one's going to be coming back from that outside spawn and uh, this will be a big gunfight. Snipe Down's not looking in the right position. He might get taken out here. Uh-oh. Going for the quick scopes. Can he get it? Trying to go phase optic style. Not spotting anybody just yet. I think there's a player actually on the, disarm. the bomb. Okay. He's on the He has oh, no he idea backs the off there. It. There he goes. Snipe Down talks, spots a player. Top broken. There's going to be a player challenging from the left. Will he be able to get this kill? No, he does not be fire with a nice clutch play. And now they're going to be dropping a breadstick. Finally getting on the board. This could be a momentum changer. And that player on the bomb, yeah, we'll yeah. see if Doubt's able to see him. People do that so often, you think they'd check for it. But, uh, oh, God, such an easy <laughs> pick there. He knows the guys in the back as well, but nice shots there out of Sin with the LMG. Oh, and a nice kill also from Sinful, leaving it up to Snipe down now. Poor So in a 1v3. Let's see if he can do this. Spots a player. Can he get it? No, can't get that lucky. And, oh, with the wall. <laughs> that, and that's why we hate LMGs. Yeah. There's going to be a player also going bottom broken. Oh, Snipe down is all oh, right. Oh. Sinful didn't see him. That is amazing to me. Now Snipe down, he's going to dip out of there. Try to get as far away as possible. Uh, he was dead if he didn't get that headshot. That oh, yeah. was just really, that was huge. really clutch sub shots there out of snipe down. But there is still that player in backside of A, and this bomb carrier, I don't think he's going to no. think to check that corner. How could so you? he's going to get yep. shot in the back. That's bombed down. Huge play. There is a player in and around Bo Broken who should be able to trade this kill. Uh, they will get that was Cosmo able to take out Twist. So we are going to be in a 2v2. It's going to be a deadly 2v2 now as we see Cosmo. He's going to pick up that bomb player challenge from the front. Can he get it? No, he cannot doubt. Takes him out. All up the snipe down. He's going to be attacking, knowing the last player to take out his other player was in gas. Doesn't spot him as he rotated around. Now snipe down. He's going to be going through bottom broken. He doesn't have time to get the bomb down. Can he get the two-piece? Spots one player, takes him out, and there it is. Doubt. He's going to be smart. He's just going to run away and get out of there. Ah, he had nice try there. Snipe down stuck at a 1v2 again. You know, he's 8-2, and two, having a heck of a game. Good job checking his corner there to pick up that eighth kill. But some doubt is he was just out in the middle of nowhere. And Cosmo making a really good rotation here. He's going to be a really unbeknownst to Justice. You're, you really can't predict that he's going to be on this flank. Well, no, I think uh, they know his player and just got out. This, this guy is looking right here for him to come. I actually think this is going to be a tough fight for him to win as that player is prone staring at this jump off. But Cosmo knows there's a guy top off, knows it was called out. Great patience there. He's waited. The player just ended up rotating. He's going to get shot in the back. That was really well done by yep. Cosmo. He knew that guy was waiting for him. Waited, uh, just really some timing on his side. The second he rotated out to help his teammate, shot him in the back. Estimary, let's get on board with Twiz. Maybe. Yeah, we'll see if he can get this first pick. You know, that player actually for the first time went where he's been looking, but not able to see him with the smoke that is Look everywhere. This, I believe though. from his own team. Yeah. Uh, Sin getting aggressive through here. Big A push. Good timing there for him. Going to be able to clean up dive ball. One top nice. Great play out of Sin. Nice two-piece there. And we got Dow with the player to the left. 
What a quick round. Justice with an exclamation point comes out. Snipe down uh, has a. And we're back. Obviously, a great game there for Justice as they wound up coming back and taking the game to take a 2 to 0 lead against Excellence. Now, things were getting tough there because now it's a best of five series. They're up 2 to 0. Were they able to finish it out? Let's see. Game three was the typical blitz that you saw. They didn't get to play many because open bracket was best of threes. And only if it went to that game three would you see that game get played. But game three was a freight blitz. So let's see if they could sweep the series and get their season pl three placement that they dreamed of getting. It's really setting a standard now uh, for, for an AR work. I don't know. But 2-2 two, is going to be the score. BL fire on your screen pushing forward. It is going to be two down once again, so we'll see if he can uh, get a capture as the spawns now are going to be over on red. He does have a little wiggle room to get in here. He only really has one to beat. He should be yeah. able to cap here. He's going to see him. Sniped out hiding in the corner, so that should be an easy cap for him. Going to fly through. 3-2 uh, advantage now for Justice. Good play there by BL fire. Unfortunately, the positioning from Snipe down a little lackluster. He saw him poking out. Yeah, and uh, Cosmo now bottom beer as well. He's looking to make a capture here if he can. This is such a crucial spot to be in because really you can just uh, relay some captures up here and really not be known at all as we see Justice heating up. Now three go down once again as, uh, or excuse me, Excellence, my bad, is going to be bringing up three up as uh, Justice now just fighting for some opposition. They're really turtling right now basically because oh, of force two, but a nice look at that tie ball. Like, look at this Crusher, guy going off. Three, can he get all four? Oh, oh. man. Good effort there, though. I mean, he did enough damage in the base here to at least allow yeah. his team to get four, uh, get a fourth cap and also get a cross mid map to right. continue to apply pressure. The lead will extend to two here for Excellence. Diablo going to lose that gunfight. Only 45 seconds left to go and uh, make that seven caps here for him. Yeah, seven caps. So 7-4 is uh, Excellence starting to look really good. Like I said, Justice just doesn't perform well on this map. And uh, Excellence, they're playing some good COD at this moment. They're just constantly pushing up, and, and, and you know the funny thing is, is I think Justice right now is probably on the uh, probably on the better side too of this map. So surprisingly, they're not doing as good as I was expecting. Twiz though with a nice assist as another capture goes in, and Twiz can bring it down six seven here. This is going to be a big kill up front as well as a big two piece. Can he get it? No, he cannot get shut down. And uh, I think that's going to be all she wrote probably for both sides until we go second half. Yeah, I like they tried to pre-fire that back wall. Unfortunately, he chose the wrong side, not <laughs> able to get both players. But the yeah, time will wind down. Uh, I don't think anyone in no. great position. Well, maybe Diabolic, right actually. He Wait might be able to get plenty of time. Good job. Extends the lead to three as the final seconds. Uh, BL Fire, I mean, from a cap standpoint, he's leading the way with caps. Yeah, 12 definitely. and 14 with five caps is obviously hugely respectable. He's having one heck of a game. But uh, this one, I really just think this is justice is to lose. Even though you see via the Oracle, there, there's a couple caps that may be coming in for excellence right now. Basically, all of their players are on the other side. Yeah, they are. And so we see Diabolic looking to make in and slide into the DMs. Unfortunately, he was denied. You know, it always hurts to get denied. However, accuracy, though, is going to go in. Oh, wait a second. Shut wow, down by Twiz. Twiz. That hurts. Place. Just getting on that spot. I think it really is a tight one. Under two to go here. Doubt opening the front door. There is a player playing defense on the right. Going to be able to clean that up. He's had one coming in the back door. I, a little bob and weave there, but unfortunately he <laughs> had a guy to the right as well, but he will be uh -oh. bait for his teammate to fire one through. Tie game. I was seeing a comeback. It's going to be close. You're seeing it, Maven. It F might happen Final here. Final 90 seconds. 9-9. Nine, nine. Final 90 seconds. Another score goes in. Justice for the first time. Actually, I think in this whole entire uh, map here has taken the lead. 10-9 by one. Bielfire looking to make it 11-9. Oh, yes, he does. As uh, Excellence, they're just starting to get really, really desperate at this point, pushing forward, trying to get that map control, but they're not getting anywhere because players like Sin, Twiz, and Bielfire are just shutting them down. Yeah, really good job at the end here. Good nice. defense, good overextensions by the couple players that have been able to sneak through. I think that was Bielfire, I think, that had the nice nice route yep. to cap that one. Uh, under 60 seconds to go here. Another nice Sin. route. Oh, God, he's going to have an engagement here. Will he get Ooh, the No, he's able to get the lunge down. with the knife. And now the problem is he's going to make these players worry about him, which is going to mean they can't push these caps. They desperately need up three, and this one's what? Uh, 20 seconds or so for being yeah, mathematically up impossible. By three, yeah, it's about mathematically impossible almost. They're almost to the point where they can only tie it, and a bit from there uh, quickly is going to be that's going to be a win for Team Justice as the tides have turned. And Maven, this is the dagger. He gets this, and it's over. You, you are the goat of predictions. It's done. Justice has just taken it. I, how'd you do that? Uh, well, just both sides. The entire every game I've done here right. uh, for Blitz Freight. Usually it's a preference thing, but for the most part, every team has been doing much, much better with the Caps when pushing into beer. And uh, 
Nothing new here. I mean, look at the swing. What was it? A three cap lead. Ended yeah. up winning by four. So yeah. seven cap swing there. Uh, not surprised. And the same thing with Surge, too. Yeah. I've, I've casted a ton of justice during the season two league, and they, they prefer this side. They play much better. And I mean, look at Diabolic, who's 18 and 10 first side, ends up 26 and 23. Right. They just struggled uh, from a slaying standpoint on that second. And as you can see, a huge 3-0 sweep there for Justice against Excellence, taking the series and getting their Season 3 placement that they so desired. All their hard work paid off, but their weekend was not over. After they placed, the top four teams then went on to play for $10,000 and the title of Open Bracket Champion at MLG Anaheim. Now, only the cream of the crop were left, and they wound up having to face off against Optic Nation in the Losers Finals, and unfortunately for Justice, their road ended there. The series went back to best of threes, and it went to a game three, but Optic Nation wound up being able to close out the series in the Blitz, ending Justice's weekend, but it was definitely still successful for them as they were able to get that season three spot. Now, we've gone over the whole team, their road of getting here. Hopefully now you know a little bit more about Justice and their road of how they got back into season three. I wanna take one final look at their roster and kind of see what their records overall were in season two for the three different game modes. We saw this roster had a 22 and 35 record in Search and Destroy, a 31 and 40 record in Domination, and a 17 and 27 record in Blitz. Now on this roster, I'm really looking for Doubt to continue stepping up for his team as he had the best overall KD in the Season 2 uh, tournament. Now this team definitely needs to work on their Search and Destroy game as that is the big game that everyone says will win championships. Game 2 and Game 5 of every best of 5 series is always going to be search and destroy and you need to be clutch to win that. So that's one of the four Season 3 play-in teams. These guys are going to be coming out hot for Season 3 proving that their performance in Season 2 was just a fluke. As I said before, under a 41% win percentage in Season 2. These guys definitely had a lot, a lot of work coming to them, but they're going to be playing with the best, and let's see if they can bring out their best to hang with them. So, we covered Justice. I want to hear your tweets. Send them at me, at AYY underscore Courage. Tell me how you think this team's going to do, and start giving in your predictions for Elevate, who we're going to cover after this commercial break. Don't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. 